<clears throat> okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, my name is Molly. I'm a voice and accent coach and this is video three of the accent introduction series. So if you have seen my last two videos, one was on consonants and one was vowels part one. We're now gonna be obviously doing vowels part two, very innovative, 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 innovative? Very imaginative name, I know. If you're enjoying the series and you've learned something from it, please give a big thumbs up to the video and press subscribe. As always, I'm gonna link all of my social media below. So if you did want to learn any more about me, what I do, the content that I coach, then you can hit me up on there. And I'll also include a 30 minute free consultation link if you have any more questions. Let's crack on, shall we? So our last video was all on vowels and the vowel chart. If you missed it, vowels are just sounds made where the articulators are not disrupting the airflow. And we discussed all of the extreme places that we can make sounds as well as the hesitation or schwa sound. For today, we're gonna to be looking at something called the kit list. Again, this is something that a lot of accent coaches use. Actors don't have to know it or be familiar with it, but I think it's actually a really, really fantastic tool, which is why I'm showing you it today. The kit list is simply a list of words starting with kit, hence the name kit list. And in those list of words, you have kit, dress, strut, so on and so forth, you have different vowel sounds. And actually within that kit list, there contains every vowel sound that you can make within the English language. There are gonna be some anomalies to that, but for today, as a basic video, I'm gonna go with that. And the reason I'm teaching you the kit list is because it can act as a really useful tool for actors when you feel stuck. Because it contains every vowel that you can make, if you understand and master how to say all of these words with their sentences in the accent you're learning, then you should in theory be able to say any word in that accent. For example, let's say I'm trying to do a Limerick Irish accent and I'm really struggling with the word my, my. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my kit list words and I'm gonna scroll down and down and down and down and down until I find the matching vowel sound. In this case, the vowel sound I'm looking for is I, and the word that matches it in the kit list is price. I'm then gonna go to my recording where I have a Limerick person speaking through the kit list, and I can hear that they are pronouncing this vowel sound as prois, prois, oi, oi. Therefore, I'm gonna practice that vowel sound, oi, oi, oi and I'm gonna transfer it over to when I was saying my, it turns into moi, moi, moi. Hopefully that makes sense and it's basically a key code. So you get someone to record all of the kitless words, you master those kitless words, you'll be able to say your script nice and fluently when it comes to vowel sounds. So what actually is the kit list? So I'm gonna go through it with you now. And as you see, you have the words on the left-hand side of the screen, kit, dress, strut, but goose, fleece, nurse, trap, so on and so forth. Now I've also included a load of sentences for the kit list because I think it's a really useful tool for practice. And you can see that for kit, I've added the sentence, the ship listed as busy women built a pretty bridge in the dim mid winter. And if you've been following the accent series so far, you'll remember that in session one, I talked about the difference between hearing vowels versus seeing vowels. And this is where that really comes into play. Because I might look at that sentence and think, okay, kit rhymes with ship, rhymes with list, rhymes with bridge, because those are all the ones with eyes in. However, actually, you can see that I've underlined a lot more words than just the ones that seem to look as if they rhyme with them. I've underlined words that actually share the same vowel sound. So for me in my accent, this is kit, ship, listed, busy, women, built, pretty, bridge, in, dim, mid, winter. All of those vowel sounds share the i, i, i sound. And again, if you were here last time, have a look at my jaw, tongue, and lips as I say that vowel sound, i, i, i. My jaw is pretty closed, my tongue's at the front, and my lips are kind of spread. And so do bear in mind that when you're going through these sentences and these words, 
You might not underline the same words, you might even have to add words that actually do share the same vowel sound as the one you're focusing on because everyone's accent is slightly different. But I'm just using these sentences because I can model them quite well. So let's see how we can put this into practice. Let's pretend I'm an actor and I'm trying to hone in on the West Coast American accent. One line in my script is really hard for me to say, which is the bird perched on the church. The bird perched on the church. Now, if you're here in our first session, you'll know that I'm gonna have to rotisize my accent and also bring in a retracted tongue. The bird perched on the church. But that still seems a little bit strange. So I'm gonna to go to my kit list and I'm gonna go, okay, bird, uh, 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 I find nurse. So I'm gonna try and practice nurse, nurse in that West Coast American. And then I'm gonna try and give some of the sentence a go. Nurse, pearl, urged, myrtles, attorney, to rehearse, a certain circus, turn, before, the, is it courtis or courteous? American courteous, worm, turned. <laughs> so you can hear that you're just getting used to making that er, er, er sound. And in this case, all I needed to do and where I was sort of messing up was that I wasn't allowing the R sound to fully colorize the vowel before it. Instead, I was kind of chomping down on the R, like church rather than church. So I'd go back to my scripts and hopefully I'd feel a lot more confident in saying the bird perched on the church in a West Coast American accent. The other thing I want to mention, and again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because this is just basic instructions, but it's important to know the difference between what we call monothongs versus diphthongs. In this kit list, the words kit, down to and including force, are all what we call monothongs. That is where there is one sound. For example, kit, it, dress, eh, struct, up. I'm just making one sound there. However, from face down to the end, you can hear two sounds there in my own accent. Face, A, goat, O, price, I. And so let's take that price vowel, I, I. And again, as we discussed from last session, you'll know that jaw, tongue, and lips affect the vowel sound. Have a look at my mouth as I make that sound. Price, I, I, I. You can see that my jaw is sliding from a more open position to a more closed position. And so it's just important to bear in mind that some of these kit list sounds are going to incorporate a mixture of different vowel sounds. However, in different accents, that might not be a diphthong, that might still be a monothong. If you take something like the Australian accent, there are lots of diphthongs in there. There are even more than two vowel sounds, such as no, no. And I apologize, Australian is not one of my best accents, but no, has a lot of sounds in there. And since this is just an introduction video, that kind of wraps up everything that I wanted to talk about. I will put a Google Drive link to the kit list and the sentences below, so do check that out. But from this video, hopefully you now have a stronger sense of what a vowel is, the difference between monothongs and diphthongs, and what the kit list is and how you can use it to your advantage when learning an accent. As long as you have the right recordings and all of that, you're gonna be good to go. Thank you so much for joining me once again. All of my socials and more information are below. If you want to book in a free 30 minute consultation with me, you can also find that down below. Feel free to put a thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend who you think would be interested. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in our last session of the Accent playlist. Thank you very much team and I will see you next time. Bye.